oranges are rotting. The oranges are piled in their creosote dumps. We are flying them back to the Mexico border to pay all their money to wade back again. Goodbye to my one, goodbye, Rosalita. Adios, mi amigo, Jesus and Maria. You won't have a name when you ride the big airplane, and all they will call you will be deportee. My father's own father, he waded that river. They took all the money he made in his life. My brothers and sisters come working the fruit trees. They rode the truck till they took down and died. Goodbye to my one, goodbye Rosalita. Adios mi amigos, Jesus and Maria. You won't have a name when you ride the big airplane, and all they will call you will be departing. Some of us are illegal and some are not wanted. Our work contracts out and we have to move on. Six hundred miles to that Mexico border. They chase us like outlaws and rustlers like thieves. Goodbye to my one, goodbye Rosalina. Adios mi amigos, Jesus and Maria. You won't have a name when you ride the big airplane. And all they will call you will be departing. We died in your hills, we died in your deserts, we died in your valleys and died on your plains. We died neath your trees, we died in your bushes, both sides of the river, we died just the same. Goodbye to my warm, goodbye Rosalita, adios mi amigos, Jesus and Maria. You won't have a name when you ride the big airplane, and all they will call you will be departing. The sky plane caught fire over Los Gatos Canyon, a fireball of lightning and shook all our hills. Who are all these friends all scattered like dry leaves? The radio says they are just departees. You won't have a name when you ride the big airplane, and all they will call you will be departing. Is this the best way we can grow our big orchard? Is this the best way we can grow our good fruit? To fall like dry leaves, to rot on the topsoil, and be called by no name except departee. Goodbye to my one, goodbye Rosalita, and Dios mi amigos, Jesus and Maria. You won't have a name. Every time I listen to that song, it just makes me a little misty. You know, not to full out cry, but just it's just such a sad situation. Um, just to give you a little bit of history, it is a true story. Um, so what sparked him writing the poem, I can tell you that, because that I know, is that when he saw the newspaper article about the plane crash, all it listed was there were five Caucasian people on the plane, the crew members and the security guard, and it listed them by name, uh, all their names, but the, I believe it was, yeah, this song was written in 1948, but I believe the um, 
it was 32 okay so 32 people died in in the plane there were 28 immigrants so, yeah Im they were migrant farm workers and they were de deporting them and in the newspaper article it listed the four americans by name in the newspaper article but the migrant farm workers they just listed them as deportees they did not it it basically said you know 32 people died in this plane crash four americans and all their names and 28 deportees so the names of you know any hispanic names that you hear in the song he kind of it's almost like paying homage in some way he he wanted to give them names um so he he just kind of puts those names in there to to say something to say goodbye to them because he didn't know any names so he wrote this poem and just kind of put those names in there to give them names you know to say goodbye to somebody those aren't actual names of anyone that had passed away on that plane um so yeah um the plane itself had the crash occurred in Los Gatos Canyon and not in the town of Los Gatos itself, which is in Santa Clara County. Okay. Approximately 150 miles away. Okay. So that's really, so the name of the song, it's called Deportee and then in parentheses, plane rack at Los Gatos. So you guys know um, that's where the name comes from. Anyway, I think the I think the song is extremely important because we have a man in the Oval Office right now that wants to deport and is deporting people every single day, people who's like he said his grandfather, um, what came over to this country and by coyotes. And they took all his money, his life savings. And in many cases, that's the way it is when people use these people to come to this country illegally. They take everything from them or they say, fine, we'll get you over here, but then you're going to work the money off. And then they end up, like he said, his sisters and brothers came over in the truck. They worked until they died because basically they came over to work off. You know, they say, fine we'll get you over there, but then you're going to have to work off the money that it costs us to get you over here. And, it, and generally it costs them nothing because they're either putting them in like big semis and starving them to death or whatever. It's human trafficking any way you look at it. And it's an ugly, ugly way to come to this country. But in some ways people are really desperate. They have nothing in the country that they're in or you know, in some ways, it, they really need refugee status because it, they ha they're facing certain death in the country that they're in. If they need to leave. But at any rate, that that's the story of this song. Um, and it's very prevalent today as well because, you know, we've got someone who's deporting people all the time. So... I'm not going to get into my political views on the whole thing. I just thought the song was very important, very sad. And I, I just wanted you guys to hear it. So, you know what? Put down in the comments what you think about it. If you disagree with me, tell me. We can have a dialogue. I don't care. Tell me what you think about immigration. Tell me if you think Trump's right about immigration. Tell me, and if so, why do you think he's right? And tell me if you think he's wrong. And if you think he's wrong, tell me why you think he's wrong. You know, tell me what you think of the song in general. Remember, it started off as a poem. Um, Pete Seeger, I think, does a really good job in putting music to the lyrics. Um, but it's still, a, a, you know, it's still a protest song. You know, so it's still going to have that kind of protest vibe to it. Um, but anyway, you guys have a fantastic day. And remember to comment like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys later. Oh, and remember, take care of each other because no one else is going to. Bye.